I don't see the sound icon. The next time, the next time you're out looking for a new vehicle, Hasi and the Ford asks that you buy American. It's about America, the people. Let's when be you up America, as high as it'll go. Keep the U.S. dollars in the U.S. You'll bring back the U.S. This is just a commercial. You want to see a far senior citizen is lucky to be alive tonight after the experimental plane he was flying makes an emergency landing into a tree. I was in Edinburgh playing around practicing landings and having fun and headed home when the engine went on the way home. Richard Smith Afar was alone in the plane at the time of the accident. It was around 10.30 a.m. when Richard claims he could feel issues with the plane engine. He attempted to restart the engine, but to no avail. That called the airport, McCurry Aviation. And they've, they've got a man out here to pick me up. <laughs> he then attempted to land the plane in a field on Wyland Road, just south of Ridge Road. The plane slammed into a tree. So this is something that is very, very interesting to see if a gentleman or a person over 90 some years old is still meeting the basic requirements physically for a commercial pilot's license. Luckily, he only suffered minor injuries to his wrist. We asked Richard if he intends to fly again, and he said he would. Do you intend to go back up out and, uh, and uh, fly one more time? Not with this airplane. Yeah. Right now, I'm going to take it home and rebuild and put it back together again. We spoke to Precinct 1 constables who tell CBS 4 the crash will not be a factor when he decides to renew his flying license. Only a physical is needed for that. In Alamo, Freddy Vela, CBS 4 News at ValleyCentral.com. So glad he is doing all right. That plane landed on private property. And